right now, you're in the gold school with DJ Kevy Kev. Heads up. That's what's up. He- 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 heads up. Now, uh, this is directed not towards j Ru, but towards the rest of y'all, because I don't think y'all realize this, but believe it or not, the person who produced that track, Kev. <laughs> Kev. Kev. Ghost yeah. written by DJ Premier, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Nah, that's of course a primo beat. So Word. we have, I know you're tired of this question, but the gold school audience needs to know as quickly as you want to say it, how did you even make that connect? Because that's, I mean, I mean nah, that I'm not tired. Like, connect. I, I'm not tired. I mean, that, the first of all, that's guru. Right. You know what I mean? Because they were in a group together, but you know, we go way back and me and me and some people, I, I went to high school with a dude who was in the original, his his cousin was in the original Gangstar before Premier Hat came. You want to shout him out? You know, uh, yeah, my man Shad, right. Sandro Castro. And um, he was before, before, so he was like, yo, my man, you know, he rapped. And my, my, my DJ, Tommy Hill, and Little Dab and him, they was been hanging with Google. Right. But I was, I was really doing, I was into like street stuff. And I, I could tell you the first day I really ever met Guru I, it was. It was. What you could look it up, and and you. Could, it was whenever the Batman movie. <laughs> it was. Well, it wasn't that. Was that, that day, was, no, huh? that was the first time I saw myself on television. Huh. But whatever year the Batman movie premiered, the first one with Michael Keaton, the day that came out, the Manifest video came out because that's the first video that I was ever in. Huh. And um, I met I met Premier and, and at that video. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I met Premier at that video. I had met Guru a little before that. But I, I mean, I was into doing other stuff. Like, I was a street kid. But you was you already know? an MC, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I've been rhyming since I was eight. So you were an MC, you meet Guru. Guru's not yet doing his thing. He hasn't exploded yet. Right, he was, uh, He hadn't exploded, but, you know, and I was still kind of, like, on the fence of hanging out. And, but then, but then you know, we got cool. And I had already had a demo. My man P.F. Cutting, who uh, Blase Shout Blase, out to P.F. Where I had, a, I had my first demo with him. You know, because I know P.F. Cutting because my mother used to work for his father in his Italian restaurant. Wow. She was a cook in the kitchen. Wow. And we were little kids. I mean, he gave me hamsters and everything when I was like around five <laughs> years old. So This is hip hop history. So I, I knew him. So we did that. And um, and then I did a second demo that's actually I put out now. I'm doing like a special uh, a die cut vinyl and everything on Slice of Spice, and you can go to my SoundCloud and check it out. It's called the Dirty Rotten Demos, but it's my first demos that Guru produced. Okay. It, it was three songs. Not Primo, Guru. Guru produced my first stuff before Premiere. And this is not Ill Kid stuff? This, this is some is, other it's, stuff? This is before Ill Kid uh, and all that. This is when we was just, like, kicking it, and we used to go to Firehouse Studio and Such a Sound. Right. Um, And, like, Firehouse and, and I think Such a Sound, that's where they record, like, Wu-Tang and all that used to be called. That was in Brooklyn, downtown Brooklyn. Dude's name, uh, Slow Mo. And um, oh, what was the other dude name? Uh, whatever. Oh, a Urim. Urim and Shlomo. They started out, but anyway. So, <laughs> so we did that. And there's three songs. There's one called "The God of Rhyming," uh, "The Damager," and "Dirty." And "Dirty" actually became the first verse to the original. So you you put that out, or you didn't put that out? I, I mean, that's what I was using to try to get a to record get on. Deal. All right. And you know, so I was running my shoes down, walking all over the city to hear little Chinese dudes tell me, you know, I ain't had what it took. Right. And right. All of that. And then you know, so that's why we that's why we even decided to, to do the the first ill kid joint was Come Clean was on. Right. It was Come Clean, Big Sug, um, some song he had, and and Group Home, so called friends. And, and the reason we decided to do that because we was having no luck. Okay. With the demo. So we do it ourselves. We was so we, and when we went on tour because I I had done the um it was '92 so I had done the, the song on the Gangstar album to speak your clout and um, when we was on tour that's the first world tour that I went on like went to Europe and all that in like '92 so every day every night you know for sound check because Guru didn't used to go to sound check mm-hmm. I used to do the sound check so. Premier would be DJing and I'd be mic checking, but every night he would cut up the Onyx. Uh-oh, heads up, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I was like, yo, when we get home, because we was talking about, he was like, yo, you know what? You know you ready. I'm going to work on your, your your joints and all of that. And I was like, yo, when we get back to the to the spot, we should do a, a song and that should be the hook. So that was that was the first how, how that came about. And then... This is history! So then, so then once we got off tour, Prima was like, all right, yo, come by the house. So my man Mike Rohn drove me over there and he had a little drum pattern or something already. And then we just started listening to records, listening. And then we came across that record. Like I, like I said, I can say it now before we be like, oh, secretive, but there's a Shelly Man record. Everybody know because they don't right. blew it up, you know, with the internet and all that. 
But when he played the record, we heard all these weird noise. Do, 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 and we looked at each other. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's we the like one. that. And we had only listened to like three records. And then Prem was like, yo, should I loop it like this or you want me to loop it like this? And I was like, yeah, loop it like that. It's <laughs> like, word, right? right? We he put it, boom, put it on the cassette. Dropped it in my man Rome, uh, cassette player in this little Bronco or whatever it was he had. And we drove back to the crib because Prem was living in Queens at the time. We drove to Brooklyn. And I just came up with the rhyme and like the first part, you were on the front wall in the car. And then I just went home and I wrote it. We went, recorded it. We put it out on the uh, Ill Kid sampler. And then that, that was really it. You know what I'm saying? We paid the dude for the, who worked for the record label to, you know, mail it out. Because that's how it used to be back in the days. Right, right. You had to get your radio dude. And he mailed it out to everybody. And then, so this was like, let's say like a week later, I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out with my man True Master. Uh, from the Wu-Tang Clan, because I used to hang out, like, I used to hang out with the Rizza, the Jizza. We used to all hang out before before I even, I got a first pressing of the Wu-Tang Protect Your Neck that I got from the Rizza. Um, so we hanging out in the village because we used to sell books out there. Mm -hmm. We used to sell books in the village. Me, True Master, my man, Afu, my man, Ash. Afu, right? Yeah. Right. So I grew up with him, like, that's that's all my, so, um, huh. but then I heard Come Clean. You understand what I'm saying? And we was expecting to hear it on like the college shows and mm -hmm. that. you understand what I'm saying but for the time of day that we heard it and it was coming out of a car we knew that wasn't no college show right 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 they like I'm like yo son I think I hear my record <laughs> my man like oh you don't hear your record you bugging <laughs> then another car came by and I heard the record again but it was at a, a point where it couldn't be if it was the same radio station Ah, uh, so we like, yo. I'm like, look, my man, like, oh, spurred up. The car stopped at the light. And we like, yo, what, what station is that? And they like, uh, WBLS. BLS is what? the first one to hit it. Like, it was BLS, kiss everybody. Uh, they all was rocking it. I was like, and then after up. that, the rest was history. It's like a week after that, every record label came at me like with a deal.